Oh, All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Parc de Copain in St. Martin. It's game one of the 2022 Black St. Louis Baseball Regionals here, the U13B division. It's the seventh seeded Gunnawagi Warhawks taking on the ninth seed, the Shattagee Red Sox Rouge. Both teams in red, obviously. Uh, the Red Sox with a bit more white and the Warhawks with a shade of black. Let's meet today's uh, defensive starters for the Warhawks. Uh, playing over at first, Roy Lahash. Meanwhile, at second base, it is Wahiagwas Bova at short. Jersey Jacobs at third. Ryder McCumber. And taking a look at the outfielders, Viola Bova in left. Addison Goodleaf in center. And that is Elijah Lahash Dupont in right. Sunguayra Kwandi Sobrera is behind the plate. Catching pitches from today's starter, Carmen Stacy, Led the Warhawks in innings pitched this season and she gets the call in game one of the regionals uh because the warhawks play tomorrow stacy could throw a maximum of 40 pitches so yeah we're playing with that rule it's not necessarily by innings but by numbers of pitches and stacy will face a lineup which starts off with ludovic uh, lorando Peyton deschamp hitting second number 19 louis gerard in the third spot mary soleil caron sasseville batting cleanup caleb mcintyre tyson colombe uh, number 20, Tyson, Renzo, Evan, and O. Colin, Manta, Simol, Simon, Shod Sadakis. Simon, Shod Sadakis batting 10th. And then William Carroll Sassville bringing up the rear. Red Sox are coached by an old high school friend of mine, actually, Patty Deschamps. Warhawks, have coached, of course, being coached by Jesse Lahash. Taking a look at the dimensions here. At Parc de Cobain, 265 feet in straight center, 265 all around. It's 265 down the line in left and 265 down the line and right. 26 degrees right now, feeling like 30, but a nice breeze. And this is it, folks. Game one of the 2022 regionals is underway. Carmen Stacy taking on Ludovic Lorando, the opening pitcher. These two teams played twice during the year. One went for the Red Sox, one went for the Warhawks. This is the rubber match. And there's a first pitch missing. It goes behind Lorando. Want to know the start. Whenever you get these uh, predetermined matchups, obviously the Warhawks pitching first. Red Sox, you got a great opportunity to try and jump on the Warhawks to start. But if you don't score... See, it, pl it plays uh, tricks. That's skied in the infield. Roy Lahash misses it. And Lorando reaches. And maybe that'll get the rust out of the Warhawks to start this ball game. In steps Peyton Deschamps, the sophomore. Sis. Three Red Sox on this team last year. Of course, we started our regional coverage with a head-to-head -head matchup between the Red Sox Rouge and the Warhawks last year. Warhawks, of course, eventually won the Lac St. Louis Regional Championship. Ball one gets behind the bag. Orando not taking off. See the Warhawks having some troubles catching a cold even in the first uh, little bit. Pitcher, catcher, first baseman. Iron out those wrinkles, boys and girls. This is the regionals. Carmen Stacy's pitch count, by the way, is now three. Hit on the ground by Stacy. Bova cannot retrieve it, and there's not going to be a play. So, two possible outs go by the weight side, and instead, the Red Sox have two runners on with nobody, on, nobody out, and in steps Louis Girard, number 19. This is a right hander, so the first righty we've seen the Red Sox throw up. Here in the top of the first. Yeah. 
Ball one. In the dirt, Abrera knocks it down. No, no steal. If you're Viola Bova in left, you got to get ready to back up your third baseman. Ball two, and the runner's going to take off. And the runner stays over at second, or at first. Orondo advances, Deschamps stays on first base, and runners around the corners. 2-0 the count on Gerard. That misses upstairs, and it's a 3-0 count on Gerard. And you wonder if he'll get the green light here if it's a good pitch on 3 and 0. Hit well to first. Lahash knocks it down. He'll take it to first to throw home. And he slot he gets under the tag. Does Lorundo. RBI ground out. Gerard thrown, gets thrown out at first. Deshaun gets to second, and the very first run of the ball game comes in here in the top of the first one nothing Shattergate. And here comes the cleanup batter, Marie Soleil Caron Sassville. Ball one outside, one and all the count. And Ryder McCumber's coming in because the shift, obviously, with a left-handed batter, more likely to hit the ball to first. Ball two in the dirt, and the ball gets away. Deschamps gets a good jump. And now even a ground out to first could probably score Shattigay's second run here. one nothing Red Sox, 2-0 the count. Ball three outside and... Three and zero, the count. <laughs> Fouled back, and it's three and one. So she did get the green light on three and zero. One down, one run in, and a one runner on third. This is the cleanup batter for the Red Sox with uh, Caleb McIntyre, number sixty-two, on deck. He had two hits in that regional head-to-head -head last year between these two teams, the exact same two. And that one hops the bag, and that'll be a, a walk. Carmen Stacy's pitch count now 10. So Warhawks looking for a ground, a ground ball double play or looking to go to home. But Deshant does not have to run because there's no force at home plate. There's strike one from Stacy. Strike two, and it's quickly nothing at two. Two nice pitches from Stacy, and now the pressure is on McIntyre at 0-2. Twelve pitches now thrown by Carmen. That's in the dirt. 
Sussville will not take off, so the runner's still on first. One ball, two strikes. That strike three and two down. And in steps Tyson Colomb. Pitch count for Carmen Stacy now 14. And uh, the Shadagee starter could actually pitch 55 pitches today. And if you're at 39 and you pitch 40 and it's a ball one and the count is still continuous, you can finish that at bat. Two down here in the top of the first. Stacy's delivery. Upstairs and outside. One to know the count here on Tyson Colon. One to know the count. Vince Renzo on deck. This is a right handed batter digging in against Stacy. That misses low, and it's two balls, no strikes. Okay, so our pitch count was a little off. I was at 16. Official scorekeeper has it at 20. Stacy's very deliberate, too. Takes her time on the mound. That's in there, catches the outside corner at the knees, and it's a 2-1 count. And Carmen Stacy has a 1-2 count in her favor. The 1-2. Got him! Strike three! Carmen Stacy, two strikeouts. The Red Sox strand, two on the plates. Our score. Shadagi Red Sox, one. Gahnawagi Warhawks coming up to bat. You're watching the 2022 Lac St. Louis Baseball Regionals on Baby Blue Members. Welcome back to Parc de Copain. Bottom of the first inning here in the first round of the 2022 Lac St. Louis Regional Baseball Championships at the U13B level. The Shadagi Red Sox scoring one in the top half of the first, and it's time to check out the Red Sox. Peyton Deschamps on the mound, pitching to Caleb McIntyre behind the plate and defensively for the Red Sox. Lorando at first. Second baseman is Vince Renzo. Colin Mata at short. Mary Soleil, Cadon Sassville at third. Roy Lahash, Caleb McCumber, Jersey Jacobs, Ryder McCumber, Wajagos Bova, Onyet Daze, James Day, Viola Bova, Lily McCumber, Carmen Stacy, Sungwai Rikwani Sabrera, Addison Goodleaf, Elijah Lahash, DuPont, and Tarak Wizarde Stacy batting for the Warhawks. Deshap and Roy Lahash. Let's see if Roy can lead things off the right way. And he swings and Misses this one, nothing and one the count. Don't forget, Deschamps is allowed to throw 55 pitches from what I, I believe. Because the Red Sox have a day off between games, the Warhawks do not. And quickly, it's nothing and two here. Uh, Roy Lahash. Here's the 0-2 from Desha. That's strike three, and it's a three-pitch masterpiece. 
to start off the bottom of the first. So in steps Jersey Jacobs. Jersey Jacobs. And the Red Sox, you could see in the left, left center and right are backing up, giving Jersey some respect here. Jacobs hits this one on the ground to second. Flip the first is in time and two up and two down for the Warhawks. And now standing in is Ryder McCumber, number 16. Ryder McCumber. Wow, what a start for Deschamps here. He's got two outs and four pitches. And McCumber sends a shot to opposite field. And that is caught. Wow. A five-pitch inning for Peyton Deschamps. One, two, three, go the Warhawks. One nothing Red Sox. Back at uh, Parc de Copain here in St. Martin, top of inning number two, the Shattagy Red Sox Rouge on top of the Warhawks by a score of one to nothing. One run on two hits for the Red Sox and the Warhawks went one, two, three in the bottom half of the first inning. Warhawks could have had three up and three down in the top half of the first, but two so misplays. So here's Vince Renzo, Renzo kicking things off for Shattagay. Now this is a really young Gahnawagi Warhawks team looking up and down this lineup. The Warhawks have two players that will not be in U13 next year. This is a very young team. And this young team has some adversity after the first inning of the first regional game. Trailing one nothing against the Red Sox. Hit on the ground to third. That hops into the outfield. Knocked down by Lahash Dupont. Thrown into second. And that gets away from McCumber. On it does it, James Day backs it up and it's a leadoff single for Renzo. So here's Evan Enno. Carmen Stacy, 23 pitches in the first inning. Ball gets away. And the Red Sox have a runner at second. Strike one, and it's an even count, one and one. That misses the off corner, and it's uh, two and one. Now on Aino. 27 pitches now thrown by Carmen Stacy. Ball three, Abrera knocks it down. Three and one the count here on Aino. Colin Manta on deck for Shadigay. Swung on and missed. Good changeup by Carmen, and it's a full count, three and two. 29 pitches now thrown by Stacy. Remember, her max is 40 because the Warhawks play again tomorrow.
That's strike three. One down. Strikeout number three for Carmen Stacy. And as you hear, 30 pitches now thrown by Stacy. So Colin Matha stepping into bat. I'm going to have to ask my buddy uh, Patty how to pronounce number 47's last name. That misses inside, 1 0 the count. 31 pitches now thrown. One down and a runner on second for the Red Sox. They lead this game by a score of 1 to zip. two and now the runner is not gonna go Renzo's on second good leaf in center day in right but has to pawn left play right behind Ryder McCumber who's at third Hit on the ground, Ray Tuma Cumber, he knocks it down. And uh, don't forget, Renzo does not have to run because there's no force. Manta gets the first on a base hit, but Renzo does not advance. So runners are on first and second, and there is a force at third now. Simon Shude Zalakis. Uh, Simon Shoda Zadikis stepping into that. So I was almost right. If you're McCumber, you got to be ready if this is a pole hitter hitting it into right opposite field. Swung on and missed. Nothing in one to count. That's high for ball one. <laughs> Outside, two and one. And I believe that's pitch number 37. Two and one now to count. So it's a Daticus. Strike two. The 2-2. Two, two. Fouled back. So it's a Daticus battling there, keeping it alive. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Runners taking off and that'll take the double play out. Now it's a full count. William Cardall Sassville on deck.
inside. Ball four. And that's it. That's pitch number 40, and Stacy is done. And now, and Jersey Jacobs is going to come in. We're coming back. Base is loaded, one out. one nothing Red Sox. No runs in in this inning. So this is a fork in the road opportunity for the Red Sox. one nothing. base is loaded, one down. And there's ball one floating over the strike zone, but not inside it to William Carroll Sassville. Jersey Jacobs on the mound to pitch here. And quickly behind in the count, 2-0. Oh. That misses as well, and quickly it's 3-0. That's ball four, wow. Renzo scores. Bases remain loaded. Here's Ludovic Loron though, who reached base on an infield single, a bloop single, back in the top of the first. And he misses for strike one. You know, when that lollipop comes down at you and it comes down, it looks really tasty, but you really shouldn't want to swing at it. Like, if that comes in the strike zone, having to adjust, it's like, it's like when you play basketball and you have zone defense. Like, if you're an experienced basketball player, you should beat the zone 90% of the time. But when it comes out at you, you just, you're take, it's so taken back. There's strike two, one and two the count. When you see that flutter ball come in, your your first tendency is to get underneath it, which is really not good, because it pops it up. And it's more than likely that ball is a harmless pop-up. And there's a shot into opposite field. And it is now 3-0 Red Sox. Laurent has got his second blue hit of the game. And here's Peyton Desha, who's singled back in the first one for one. Ball's behind him. One and all. One down here and two runs in for the Red Sox. Hit on the ground, the third. McCumber picks it up. There's the throw home. Safe because there was no force because McCumber touched third. There's two outs. It's not a force if the runner thrown out at third is already out. You had to tag him. So Carol Sassville goes out. Louis Girard. Two runners on and three runs in for the Red Sox. And are they are they using an actual broom to clean the? They're using an actual broom to clean up home plate. As I was saying before, hey, you know what? When I was in university, 22, 23 years old, I made my living off of uh, ramen noodles and craft dinner and some boiled hot dogs. I found out I'm the only person that likes boiled hot dogs. Like, who doesn't like boiled hot dogs? 0-1-1 the count here as that pitch went in there. Strike one on Louis Girard, who has a sacrifice RBI. 1-1. One 4-0 one. Red Sox. Well, Hyogos Bova, Onyadazi, James Day, and Viola Bova coming up for the Hawks in the bottom half of the second. Four Hawks hoping to get their first base runner. Got to get through this right now. Jacobs third on the team in innings pitch this year, trailing both Carmen Stacy and Roy Lahash. 
And now it's three and one. A walk here would load the bases. What would be the maximum sixth run is on first right now. That's off the plate. And the bases are loaded with two outs here. Three runs in for Shadigay. So Mary Soleil Caron Cesville stands in. Takes strike one. And there's some heat thrown by Jacobs. Caron Cesville walked in the top of the first. No official at bats on the day. 0-2. On the ground to Jacobs. Deflects it and bounces off his glove into the outfield. And the Red Sox have maxed out in the top of the second, it's six nothing. That should, that is five. Yeah. Well, the Warhawks have some work to do, trailing six nothing after an inning and a half. Welcome back to Park Nicol Payne. Wahyago well, Spova stands in against Deshaun. Payton Deshaun pitched five total pitches. Five. And there's strike one to Wahyago. Deshaun has not thrown a ball this entire game. Six pitches, six strikes. And that was a ball, but she swung at it. Nothing in two. When you a James Day on deck, and Viola Bova would be following him. And oh. That's one down. So here's only Daze James D standing in. <laughs> That's off the play for ball one on day. Warhawks at this point in time, I think they just got to start small. Just got to start with a base runner. And then once you get that, maybe you can try to work your way forward here. And Day hits this one in the infield. It's caught. Two outs. And Viola Bova will stand in now. Viola Bova. It's two up and two down for the Warhawks here in the bottom of the second. Foul tip for strike one. Lily McCumber on deck. And she fouls this one back. Nothing to the count here. And Deshap is one strike away from getting out of the bottom of the second inning. Here's the 0-2. That's a ball. One and two the count here on Viola Bova. Deschamps, one, two. 
Hit on the ground, put in play back to Deshap. And the throw gets away. And Boba takes her turn. She's in there. Viola Boba is the first Warhawks base runner. Oba down. Let the middle vendor. Carmen Stacy. So here's Carmen Stacy with the runner on second, the first base runner of the game for the Hawks. Warhawks need a third base coach. Swung on a miss, strike one. Thank you. Tell them they need a third base coach. And Stacy swings at some high cheese, nothing in two. Can Deschamps get out of the inning? The 0-2. Skied in the infield. And that bounces foul. That's strike three. And the Gunnawagi Warhawks have some work to do here in this opening game. Six nothing Red Sox. We're back here at the top of the third game one of the 2022 Lac St. Louis Baseball Regionals U13B. The Shattagy Red Sox Rouge have a six nothing lead as we make our way to the top of the third, Jersey Jacobs getting set to pitch, and he'll take on uh, Caleb McIntyre, who struck out looking back in the top of the first, 0 for 1 on the day. Warhawks, uh, if you're the Warhawks, you got to have yourself a good defensive inning. That's one thing that they have not been able to have thus far. Patty Deshap, or sorry, Payton Deshap has pitched 20, has 26 pitches. I mean, at this point in time, he could easily throw for another two innings. You should really get him to no. And it's 2 0 the count right now. Wait, so right <laughs> <laughs> Try and hit the light. Oh, no. <laughs> Ball three. <laughs> well, McIntyre. Has laid off, has not seen anything he looked, he liked. I mean, if this one's in the strike zone, we'll see if he swings. Wow, a four pitch free pass. Here's Tyson Colomb who struck out looking back in the top of the first. Tyson Colomb. And the runner takes off. Carmen not able to come up with it as the ball got fired. It's a wild pitch. And hey, the runner took off to second. They can't. They can't steal. They can't steal. They're up by a score of six nothing. Throw that baby back to first. Hit on the ground. Jacobs picks it up. Throw to first in time. And there's one down here in the top of the third. So here's Vince Renzo, who's one for one with a single, a stolen base, and a run scored. 23 pitches thrown by Jersey Jacobs right now. <laughs> He's on 
Dogs don't throw balls. Laura! <laughs> Laura! Swung on and missed. There's strike one to Renzo. Renzo. Warhawks are going to have to get something going in the next inning offensively. They'll have Abrera, Goodleaf, and Elijah Lahas Dupont batting. But there's still some work to do. There's one out and a runner on second for the Red Sox here in the top of the third. Strike two. Nothing into the count here on Renzo. Ball one. Winner of this game will have an opportunity to win the division championship in their next game. So if you go 2-0 and in the round robin, you win three teams in your division, including yourself, you, you win, right? Popped up in the infield. And hey, what a catch back there. Nice catch. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give the guy back there some credit. We saw that excellent barehanded catch by one of the DDO fans at the U9 game a couple of weeks ago. Here's the one-two. He lays off and it's two and two. Evan Eno on deck. He's 0 for 1. Full count. That's strike three. Thirty pitches. That's thirty pitches. And is Kevin McCumber going to pull the plug here on Jersey Jacobs? There's two down. Evan Eno standing in. He's 0 for 1 on the night. Gotta love strategy. This is the big thing about the playoffs. The regular season, it's all about innings pitched. And any, any pitcher has to pitch a maximum 25% of the team's innings throughout the year. And Eno is behind this pitch for strike one. All right, you can't heal. Caleb McCumber, by the way, is at second. Well, Yogos Bova at short. Day at third. Abrera at left. Lily McCumber in center. Looks like Vi uh, Viola in right. Stacy behind the plate. Runner on second for the Red Sox. That's too high. It's behind him. Stacy knocks it down. Warhawks through two innings, just one base runner. Viola Bova with uh, a single in the infield. There's strike two on Eno now. Jersey Jacobs one strike away from getting out of the top of the third. That's 35 now for Jacobs. Strike three, and that will do it for the top of the third. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one left. Red Sox had a 6 nothing lead at the end of two, and at the end of the top of the third, it's still 6 nothing. Welcome back to the bottom of the third. Deshaas stays on the mound. <laughs> 
Sunguayer de Guani Sabrera stands in. We all wanted to hear the announcer try to pronounce his first name. Five five years ago, his mom literally went through his name for five minutes with me and made sure that I had it down pat as there's strike one on Abrera. Abrera, good leaf, and Lahash Dupont batting here in the bottom of the third. Warhawks trying to get back in this game. And Abrera fouls this one off. He's always got that check swing that drives infielders crazy because they have to come in. 0-2 on Abrera. And Abrera, check swing. That's fair. That's fair. And Abrera beats it out. <laughs> Abrera gets the first. Addison Goodleaf. So here's Addison Goodleaf standing in. You have to wonder if Abrera gets a good jump here. Good leave behind on the pitch, nothing in one the count. Elijah Lahash Dupont on deck. <laughs> one and one. Abrera took off for a little bit but came back. That's strike two hitting the inside corner. Good leave makes contact. That's foul. Bottom of the third inning, Shadagi, Red Sox, Rouge, six, Gunnawagi, Warhawks, zip. Warhawks have a runner on first. I'm really surprised that they're not sending a Barrera here. That one's hit down the line, it rolls foul. And that's catcher interference. That's catcher interference, so Goodleaf will get the first. So runners are on first and second here. And here's Elijah Lahash Dupont. Elijah. Yeah. And Lahash comes up empty with this pitch, 0 1 the count. And Lahash sends a shot to opposite field. It drops! It drops! And the bases are loaded. That's 27 pitches only for Daisha. So back. Caleb McCumber. Here's Caleb McCumber standing in with the bases loaded and nobody out. Warhawks desperately trying to. Get this engine started here. Oh, we're not going to do it that way. Oh, and one the count on Lahash. Oh, no, sorry, McCumber. Top of the lineup coming up next with Roy Lahash and then Jersey Jacobs. That's strike two. That strike three. So now, so here's Lily McCumber with the bases loaded. And now after this, we'll go back to the top of the lineup. McCumber makes contact and hits this one foul. She put it in play though, and it's nothing in one. Oh, 
Strike two. Strike three. So now the bases are loaded for Roy Lahash. Roy Lahash. He's 0 for 1. He struck out looking back in the bottom half of the first. Warhawks need to get a run here, at least. Lahash lays off of that stuff 1 and 0. Jersey Jacobs on deck. Hoping to get a chance to bat. Because if he does, that means the Hawks would have gotten at least one. That catches the inside corner, one and one. Fouled back by Lahash. And Peyton Deschamp is one strike away from getting out of a bases loaded with zero out jam. Struck out Caleb McCumber. Struck out Lily McCumber. And one and two the count on Roy Lahash. That's strike three. That's a good pitch. And the Gunnawagi Warhawks leave the bases loaded with nobody outs. 6 nothing Red Sox. And 37 pitches thrown by Deshaun. So new pitcher in the game for the Warhawks, Roy Lahash. The Red Sox get out of a huge jam with the bases loaded and nobody out. So here's Colin Manta facing Roy Lahash, who led the Warhawks in innings pitch this season. And he throws some heat for strike one. Now each pitcher for the Warhawks can only throw 40. Carmen Stacy went 40. Jersey Jacobs pitched 36. One and one now, the count on Manta. Manta Chotazakis Cho, 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 and Cardinal Sassville coming up for the Red Sox. We were here in the top of the fourth. Foul tipped and it's one and two. Warhawks scored 10 runs in their last game. They averaged nearly nine per game this year, and right now they have zero. This one here, there's two over there. Foul back, and Joe Zadak is doing a good job of hanging around. Warhawks only with 12. No Tartak Weezer to Stacy. He's out. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Hey, Mara, tell me if I get off the ground. And that misses, obviously, sending Matt the back, and it's a full count. Strike three, one down. Manta strikes out. And here's Chodzadakis. Chodzadakis. Simon Chodzadakis. Oh my. Chodzadakis just standing in. He walked back in the top of the second, also scored a run. One down here. Ball one. 
Well, the Warhawks also have plenty of dogs a day who could pitch. Elijah Lahash Dupont, who usually closes things, could also throw. There's strike one. Good pitch. Roy Lahash now up to eight pitches thrown. Oh, no, eight, five, five, four, three, four. No, I can go to my mother. I know that address. Strike two. One and two to count. I have a gun. No, that's a store. We get six inning game. Top of the fourth here. I know it's a six run game, but still some things that can happen. There's a ball and it's two and two. That's high, F full count, oof. It's a good pitch, but a little high. That's ball three, isn't it? Yeah, that's ball three. Now it's a full count. I mean, I'm losing my mind, but not that much. You're related to me, so it must have been gone a long time. Oh, yeah, yeah. My cousin and I talking about common denominators being lost brains. That strike three catches the inside corner. And there are two up and two down for the Red Sox here in the top of the fourth as William Carroll Sassville will stand in. William Carroll Sassville. Carroll Sassville walked back in the top of the second. Strike one. Don't forget, if the Red Sox get a runner aboard here, there's no stealing because it's a six-run game. Hi. <laughs> Top of the lineup coming up. After this, with Ludovic Lorando. Talk to him, Jersey. Talk to him. Hi. Ball three. Strike. Assistant coach Kevin McCummer trying to get the Gonawagi contention into this and that's ball four. Back up to the top of the lineup, here's Ludovic Lorando, two for two with two singles and two runs scored. Ludovic Lorando. Oh, 
Ball one on Morando. The Red Sox pitcher, by the way, Peyton Deschamps, has thrown 37. An average of 12 per inning. That is just an absolute masterpiece thrown by the starter for the Red Sox. And don't forget, since they don't play tomorrow, he has the... Uh, he has the uh, privilege of going 55 instead of 40 because the Warhawks play tomorrow. They can only throw 40 at a time. Ball two. There's strike one. The hats can be dominant when he finds the strike zone. That's high. And I said when he finds the strike zone, that's key. And now two runners are on for the Red Sox. Here's Peyton Deschamps, one for two with an RBI. Or sorry, one for two with a single, a run, a run scored, and an RBI. Reaching base on a fielder's choice back in the second inning. Hit on the ground, foul, nothing in one. Two runners on. Two outs. One and one. They also have Addison Goodleaf who can pitch. So three, still three arms for the Warhawks. After this. Obviously, you'd like to have one pitch, at least one or two arms, not have to pitch tonight. Two and one on Deshap. And he hit him. And the bases are loaded. So here's Louis Girard, 0 for 1 with the sacrifice RBI. He has also walked. Deschamps has walked zero batters tonight. The Warhawks pitches, pitchers combined have walked seven and have hit one. There's strike one. Warhawks four hits. But no runs to show for it up to this point. Here's the one one from Lahash. It's two and one now on Gerard. Two and one here. The count. Base is loaded. Three and one. Go 
Red Sox, three base runners, zero hits. Just patience. So there's a strike. And it's a full count here on Gerard. That's strike three, and that'll do it for the top of the fourth. Red Sox leave the bases loaded. 6 nothing Shattigay heading into the bottom of the fourth. All right, we're back here at Parc de Cobain, bottom of the fourth. 6 nothing Red Sox, and Shattigay has made a pitching change. Deschamp could have probably pitched a good chunk here in the fourth. Instead, Caleb McIntyre is in. And throwing some nasty split there to Jersey Jacobs, 0 oh, 1 the count. Jacobs is 0 for 1. He grounded out back in the bottom of the first inning. And he is now behind, nothing in two. That's strike three. So here's Ryder McCumber. He flew out back in the first, 0 for 1. That's strike one. Obato, in the middle side, Ryder McCumber. McCumber fouls this one off and goes right by us here down the left field line, nothing in two. Five pitches thrown here by McIntyre. Six nothing lead for the Red Sox. Oh and two the count on Ryder McCumber. McCumber hits this one through the left side and it gets it to the outfield. And McCumber is aboard with a single and one down. But Ryder McCumber gets aboard. Fifth base hit of the night for the Warhawks and well, Young West Bova will stand in. Bova 0 for 1 struck out back in the first. Actually struck out back in the second. Number one. Number one, Waya Bova. Here's the pitch to Bova. That is in there for strike one. Off the plate, ball one, one and one the count. When you have Daze, James Day on deck. Ball two. That's in there for strike two. And it's an even count, two and two. Onyetaze James Day is on deck. Strike three and there's two down. So now Onyetaze James Day will stand in. Number eight. Dazi, they. they popped out back in the second. He's 0 for 1. And he sends a shot 
And that hits something and went into the outfield. And Day is aboard and runners are on first and second. And here's Viola Bova, one for one with a double back in the last, uh, in the second inning. There's strike one on Bova, nothing and one to count. Carmen Stacy on deck for the Warhawks. Oh one two the count here. There you see the third base third base woman uh Carol Sassville moving in. And that's strike three. And the Warhawks come up empty for the fourth time tonight. Six nothing Red Sox heading into the top of the fifth. All right, we're back here. This is the open inning, so one last chance for one team to come back and for the other to add some run support. Red Sox up by a score of six nothing here. Maddie Sir A uh Sassville standing in, one for one with a walk and a single. Also has two RBI. Roy Lahatch has thrown 33 pitches, and that's 34. 2-0 no now the count. 35 pitches thrown by Roy. Ball three now, three and oh. Saw Lahash uh, Dupont warming up in the Warhawks bullpen in between innings. Swung on and missed. So this will officially be the last batter Roy Lahash faces. I believe. Nope. He's at 37 right now. He's at 37. Okay. You were making it sound like it was happening tonight. Now he's at 38. Three and two the count. And unless this pitch is a foul ball, Lahash will be able to face one more batter. Good job by uh, Cattle Sassville protecting the, the plate. That's ball four. And I thought I could create 40 pitches. And Mahash has to come out. It's a walk. And Elijah Lahash Dupont is coming in for Roy Lahash. All right, so here we go. Caleb McIntyre in to face Elijah Lahash Dupont. There's strike one. Red Sox leading 6 nothing. Runner on first base, nobody out. Runner on first base is Kenall Sessville. Sessville. Ball one. Come on, guys. 
Kayla McCumber at second. Jersey Jenkins at short. Cabrera in left. Goodleaf in right. Billy McCumber's in center. That hits the plate literally and it's two and one. That strike two. Two and two to count. Fouled. And that nearly took out the on deck <laughs> the on deck guy. Tyson Colomb had to really make sure that he got out of the way. A little too close for comfort. 2-2 two, two the count. That swung on and missed, and that's strike three. McIntyre now 0 for 2 with a walk, and now here comes Tyson Colomb 0 for 2 with a, a strikeout and a ground out. Foul back, nothing in one. Ball three on Cologne, three and one the count. And that misses low, and that's ball four. And that is the 10th walk issued by the Warhawks pitching staff. Zero walks issued by the Red Sox tonight. Zero. Their top two arms in there, and they have looked large and in charge throughout. You got to be ready if you're Wahil Gospova here at third. If this one's coming to you, you got to get to third and then try to make a double play. Want to know the count. Here on Vince Renzo, one for two with a single, a stolen base, a run scored, and has also struck out. Strike one. Strike two. <laughs> so one two from Lahash Dupo. Low, ball two.
All three. There's the full full count offering from Lahash Dupont. That's a walk, and the bases are loaded. The lancer has been shot 17 lancers, 17 pitches. So here's Evan Eno. The baton, the number 30, Evan Eno. Base is loaded. Here's the pitch. Off the plate, ball one to N.O. 11 walks issued by the Warhawks tonight. Zero issued by the Red Sox. 6 nothing. Shadigay leading. This is the top half of the open inning. Foul tipped in the mitt. One and one the count. Colin Mantha's on deck. Eno 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts tonight. That's in there. Good pitch. 1 and 2 the count now on Eno. That misses ball two. Here's a two two. Ball three. And it's a full count. What? It's a walk? Okay, I must have lost track of the count, and it's seven nothing Red Sox. Twenty-two pitches. How'd you go from seventeen to twenty-two? I think it was four and one. I thought that would have made it a full count, but seven nothing here and. The Warhawks pitching staff have issued now six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve walks. Twelve walks, one hit by pitch. That's thirteen free passes. There's strike one on Mantha. He's one for two with a single on the strikeout. And the Warhawks are gonna warm up another right-hander here in our in the bullpen. When it does a James Day warming up here to our right. Hit on the ground, right back to Lahash Dupa. He's gonna throw to first. They get the runner out, but a run scores, and it's eight-nothing Red Sox. And runners are on second and third with two down. And here is Cho Tazadakis. Zanakis stepping in. Eight nothing Red Sox. Ball one. Ball two.
Clear strike one. have runners on second and third here. Two runs in for Shadigy in the top half of the fifth. They lead it eight to nothing over the Warhawks. Nice bird's eye view of that. That just barely got over the line here. It's like a fingernail over. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Oh, and that's. I hit my pitch, and the bases are loaded. And that is 14 free passes issued by the Warhawks pitching, pitchers tonight. Think about it like that. 14 extra bases for the Red Sox without having to hit the ball. Zero for the Warhawks. I mean, just... Little things that will have to get cor corrected. And again, the Red Sox pitching staff tonight has just been remarkable. Warhawks didn't have a base runner until the bottom of the second. There's strike one. Eight nothing, bases loaded for the Red Sox here. This is William Kennel Sassville. He's walked twice. Ty, ball two. Strike two. Two and two the count. That is it for the top of the fifth. The Red Sox scored two, and it's 8 nothing. and the Warhawks need a lot to come back in this one. We're back at Parc de Copain, a night that the U13B Warhawks would rather forget up to this point, but they're hoping to make it uh, memorable. They got their work cut out for them, trailing 8 nothing as we head into their half of this open inning. Carmen Stacy leading things off against Caleb McIntyre. Stacy struck out looking back in the second. First pitch swinging it. She drives it. That's fair. That's fair. And Stacy. Gets back. It's a leadoff single for Carmen Stacy. 
Why the right fielder lost their balance out there. Looks like he's all right, but that's a little frightening. Here's Sungwe Araguani Sabrera. Abrera. Ball one, and Stacy takes off. And she's going to get into second base. Warhawks with the runner in scoring position here. Ball two, and Stacy takes off again. Throw to third. She's in there. So Stacy's on third. Runners on third base and 2 0 the count on Sungwe Rakwani Sabera. Ball three. Addison Goodleaf on deck, and then it would be Elijah Lahash DuPont and Kayla McCumber, Lily McCumber, if it gets that far. Here's the 3 0. And Abrera makes contact to second. The throw to first is in time. But Abrera drives in the Warhawks' first run of the night. And it's now 8 and 1. Now Addison Goodleaf stands in. What? He's safe! What? I think they're saying that the 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 first baseman wasn't on the bag. And now he's out. <laughs> okay. So here's Addison Goodleaf. Warhawks are on the board board. It's 8-1. Addison Goodleaf standing in. Ball one. Inside for ball two on Goodleaf. Carmen Stacy with two steals and that's ball three here on Addison Goodleaf. Elijah Lahash Dupont on deck. And there's strike one right down Broadway. Good pitch for McIntyre. <laughs> and that's a half swing with in the strike zone regardless, and now it's a full count on Goodleaf. There's a 3-2 to Goodleaf. That's ball four, and Addison Goodleaf draws the walk. Here's Elijah Lahash DuPont standing in. He's one for one. He's singled back in the uh, first, or back in the third. fouls this one off for strike one. Caleb McCumber's on deck. <laughs> and Lahaja Lahash sends this one into center field. She is safe. And Lahash with the base hit. Runners on first and second now for the Warhawks. Yeah. 
Here's Kayla McCumber, 0 for 1, struck out looking back in the third. Lily McCumber will follow him and then back to the top of the lineup with Roy LaHash. McCumber sent this one. What a play! They throw out the runner at first. What a play at second base, and there's two down. Stay back out. Number seven, Lily McCumber. Oh, they could have had the double play there. That would have ended the game. Runners on second and third, and here's Lily McCumber, 0 for 1, struck out. And takes ball one on the inside here. And then after this, if she gets a board, then the top of the lineup would come up. McCumber misses this pitch and it's one and one. Swings at this one and it's off and now it's a one-two count. And McCumber ducks out of the way. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two runners on. Warhawks trailing eight to one. And that's strike three. And that's the game. Final score, Red Sox eight, Warhawks one. I'm Brian DeBordo on a Gibo here.